battle that actually began or between uh, the suspended or impeached deputy governor of the state, right for the coming to the tribal and uh, his principal, uh, the deputy governor of the state, is actually governor of the state. He has been notarized as the estuary uh, deputy governor has been sent out of office. We'll be looking at all that, uh, the course of those politics and how it affects our political landscape. I have with us in the studio. Uh, of DJ Wadia. Did I get that correctly? Wadia of DJ. Okay, welcome to the show. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. How are you? I'm both fine. And of course, we also have Engineer Exosa Amorego. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for inviting me in and uh, good morning viewers at home and listeners everywhere in the world. All right, now let, let's start with you, Engineer Amorego. Uh, looking at the whole scenario that played out, taking us back uh, to where this whole tour started from. Let's go back to the beginning. Uh, do you think the government actually took a wrong step by taking off Shriver at this moment? Well, let me say this, uh, I'll start by saying this, that um, impeachment is a constitutional provision. For, as a matter of fact, for the nomination and subsequent election of a governor to be valid, he has to run with, he has to have a running mate, you know. That is the constitutional provision. That same uh, constitution uh, also provides for the impeachment and removal of uh, executive uh, uh, officers, including uh, the removal of uh, a deputy governor. However, the impeachment of the deputy governor, uh, Comrade Philly Shaibo, uh, has been coming. Uh, the duo of uh, Governor Godwin Obaseki and the impeacher, Comrade uh, Philly Shaibo, uh, the deputy governor, uh, they are like uh, a co joint twins that was birthed by uh, Comrade Adams Oshomole. However, since they came on board, uh, 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 they've been very, very acrimonious. There's actually nothing that have come their way that have not been destroyed, and no institution that have been sacred. So for such uh, uh, personalities that have ego, in short, I think uh, that they, they are very egocentric, you know. So both of them are very e egocentric. And when their ego clashed, I think the superior power now uh, 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 overcome the lesser power. In this case, the lesser power was come with the uh, 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 Shwaibo. Okay. However, whether the governor was right or wrong, uh, 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 it depends on which side of the divide that you are in. Like I said, I wouldn't say uh, 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 the governor was wrong in removing Comrade Shaibo because there cannot be two captains in a ship. So, uh, in a way, you are saying he overstepped his boundaries? The, uh, the official of the governor overstepped his boundaries? Like I said, the, the both of them are very, very much egocentric. Oh. I think the impeached deputy governor should have known. Uh, when to stop or when to match the break. Okay, let's quickly get to our guy and have uh, some insight from you. They actually started well. And of course, we saw how the governor insisted when he was leaving APC in 2020 and uh, going to PDP. We saw how he insisted that it's either you take me and um, my deputy or we are not coming. We all saw how everything played out. And of course, we saw how the impeached deputy governor uh, fought against even those who actually gave him some kind of footage in politics. We saw how he had serious issues with Comrade Adams or Shomole. He even insulted the person of the senator. We saw how all those played out, you know, okay? And some persons felt someone that has been loyal to that extent uh, shouldn't have gotten this kind of treatment from his boss. What says you? Well, uh, first and foremost, nothing lasts forever. A, a, a marriage or a relationship that starts well does, there's no guarantee that uh, the marriage will last forever. Oh. And uh, when both started, they had a common cox or a common enemy. So the tendency for them to bind together, oh. having a common cause or a common enemy will be there. So at that moment, it was bed of roses for both of them. And I think Felix Haibo, <coughs> being the junior officer, he has a principal. And the role that he played when they were fighting their common enemy, either the legacy group or fighting Adam Oshomole, mm. 
he now felt that he he equaled himself to Obaseki. Do you think so? Yes. Oh. And uh, in a situation as in Nigeria where we practice this presidential uh, system of government, the governor or the president, they are next to God. They can do or not do. Oh. The governor can remove you, can even pronounce anybody there. His wish becomes oh. your command. Okay. Okay. So oh. at the end of the day, when Shaibu now felt that he has the capacity oh. to contest and contain with the governor, that's where he made his mistake. Okay. He could have oh. to the governor, but because of a youthful exuberant, he wanted, oh, I can do it. I have done this before. I have dealt with Oshomole. Uh, I was the full soldier. And he continued. <coughs> you don't do it. Okay, even okay, when okay, the... Okay. Mm, yeah, just land on your thoughts. Yeah, okay. even when the can, oh. uh, is it Big Shop or a Big Shop? I don't know. Came to pontificate the ill show. Oh. Right there. Could have gone to the governor and said, look, enough is enough. I'm no longer interested. Must you be a governor? At least you have attained, your, you've reached your political zenith, deputy governor. You could have all for senate and wait. Age is on your side. You are just 50 something. Why don't you wait? After the uh, Edo Centra, oh. as a, a plan by PDP, then you can now uh, go for the. How can Oshomole? from a do not a sack of extraction oh. handed over to Obaseki from a do south. Okay. Okay. Then you are now saying no, it must come back to me. Abba. Okay. We have the other uh, family with us in the studio Collins, Bakari and all the uh, national publicity sector. The state. state publicity sector of the young uh, of YPP. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, Engineer Sosa. Uh, was it timely? This decision of taking off uh, the former deputy governor, is it timely for PDP at this point? Well, once again, it depends on which side of the divide that you are in. And I want to say that uh, for the PDP, stopping up crisis at this time is not the best for them, in my own opinion. And going into an election, I think you should be having the United Force. However, from the Swedish Shaibu, from all intents and purposes, and from what we see and from his body language, was not ready to ban that. As at the last time I checked, he was still insisting that he was the candidate, the governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party. You know, and don't forget that he also conducted a, par a parallel primary oh. in his own house and declared himself as a valid. Uh, nominated a candidate of the People's Democratic Party. And he was going all out to still be portraying himself and carrying himself. Uh, you know, he was actually uh, causing trouble within the, the, the party. So, uh, uh, like I said, removing him as at this time, I think, is a political calculation. Oh. They have, uh, I believe that the PDP is thinking that, okay, what will, what value will uh, commercially Shaibo bring to the ticket as at this time? This is fighting us. Oshomole is dominating the ASA of constituency where the tribal is there from. If we remove him, will it cost us any harm? And then looking at where they pick their deputy governor from, uh, that is uh, the new deputy governor, uh, 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 Mr. Uh, uh, Godwin Marvelos from Mobile. I think in my own opinion that, that was a political uh, master uh, stroke, you know, they are trying to divide the donors uh, with uh, Omar Bayo coming into the ticket, I believe, or oh, maybe it is my thinking that the people of Akukwedo may just say that, oh, our son is in PDP, should we vote PDP? I think that is the thinking of uh, the PDP in, bring, in removing Felix Shaibo and bringing uh, uh, Omar Bayo. However, I want to say that uh, from both sides, uh, Felix Shaibo has not conducted himself in the best of manner. In short, he has gone down in history uh, in our 33 years, in the 33 years existence of a uh, state, is the first uh, uh, deputy governor to be so impeached. So kudos to a uh, 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 former governor, Lucky Binedion, 
and uh, uh, his, run, his running mate and deputy Ogiadome. Oh. Kudos to Comrade Adam Salu Oshomole and uh, his running mate and deputy uh, 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 deputy governor Ibrahim Odubu. Oh. They all had their differences. Well, they were able to manage it. They were able to okay, now let's quickly come to you now. Uh, to our next step, uh, the election is just few. We are still on air. <laughs> the election is just few uh, weeks away. If I say few weeks, I'm, I may not be out of point because for a seasoned politician, uh, there's no time, you know. And uh, to an extent, September is just around the corner. Yeah. Don't you think uh, this might cause a little divide uh, in the ruling PDP? And this might want to push the impeached deputy governor to go align with another political party? Well, yes. There is no... Uh, in anticipation, they expected it that uh, once he's been impeached, he definitely is going to uh, align with another political party. And uh, which of the political party, we don't know. It could be APC, it could be Labour, it could be YPP, or uh, any other. Uh, I know the time is out, he cannot form his own political party. The question is what value, when he was in PDP, or he's still in PDP? Uh, the vote that comes from Edo not Oshomole control. Oshomole is the political godfather in Edo not, not Philip Shaibo. So, of what value will Philip Shaibo add to PDP or any other political party that is going to eventually uh, get married to? So, people are watching and uh, we'll see. Uh, we heard that uh, APC, they have gone to uh, meet with him, mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, with him. Yeah, uh, oh. to sympathize with him, and uh, probably other political parties will follow suit. But other than that, I think uh, Felix Aibu was responsible for his political downfall. And uh, like I said before, youthful exuberant, he felt that he's uh, Alpha and Omega and he can deal with uh, the government. Oh. That's his, you know, his principal. Okay. Okay. And not knowing fully well that in government, when government decides to give you power, you will not have, you now think that you are above, you, uh, you now start working uh, the narrow wall like a mighty colossus. Oh. But the very day the government takes that power away from you, you become an ordinary person. Okay. You okay. understand? Oh. So, uh, that is what Obaseki did. Let's quickly, uh, let's, we'll, okay, just land on your talk. Yeah. We'll go to okay. Now. Okay, and also think that uh, this is, whether the time is right or wrong, oh. any time is right for anybody to impeach uh, a political uh, uh, elected person okay. and uh, for you to wait uh, well it's, like they said one man's uh, downfall is another person's gain uh, Akoko Edo at this time they have felt marginalized in Edo politics and for the first time there's the highest political position that is going to Akoko Edo okay. and that will spur the people to vote and max it might not be 100 oh. percent but definitely they are going to uh Omo is going to pull some votes okay. and labor is also doing the same oh. labor also picked uh, uh the deputy from Ako, the same akoko oh. edo oh. so it's going to be uh they are going to share PDP and the Labour, they are going to share Labor the vote. Labour went there before. Yeah, yeah. For the PDP. Yeah, for you know. Okay. No, for the the two political oh, parties. Okay. So you see, at the end of the day, this thing is going to become very interesting. PDP and APC, the uh, the two governors or the two governorship candidates, they are from Edo Central. They are going to share. Then the two deputy governor, uh, governorship candidates, oh. they are from Akoko Edo, uh, Labour and PDP, they will share. But, but don't, don't, remember that uh, uh, Omo Bayo Godwins is just joining uh, Governor Baseki to wrap up his tenure. 
Yeah. It's not going to be on the ballot. Remember? No, it's not going to be on the ballot, but it's he's going to go back ballot. home okay. and say, look, I'm now a member of PDP. Oh. I'm the deputy governor okay. of this state. Okay. And being the highest uh, political, you see, he contested we, before. We will come back to you, so you will not take us to okay. Uh, take uh, take us through another uh, through uh, another uh, layer. Uh, okay. back to you mm. now. Uh, what lessons should be learned from this, uh, Collins? Because to our next extent, Philip Schreiber uh, was like uh, one of the most outspoken deputy governor we had in the country, and uh, we saw how he uh, gave his all as far as uh, the sports uh, is concerned in uh, those states. Vendor insurance, he was always there. In fact, he goes training with them. Uh, there were times he was even, he acted as the acting governor of the state. If the yeah. governor is not, not in town, he takes over power. He was even in charge of um, revenue at the time. So someone who actually enjoyed all these benefits as deputy governor, and of course he was actually shining at that moment. Uh, what lessons should we learn from there? Well, where there are human involvement, there, there, are, there is bound to be mistakes. However, um, lessons we ought to have learned is that we must understand that politics is all about activities of reconciling divergent views. And um, in all divide, um, there will always be two wrongs cannot make a right. But because politics is a game of number, everyone is important in the scheme of things. So it will only be normal for a party to be able to you know, reel out the right uh, team in terms of um, conflict management and enduring peace within um, the polity. As it is now, whether or not there are fightings and he fighting between um, Felicia Ibu and his uh, former principal, one thing should come to mind that Shaibu is a factor, whether you take it or leave it, and they will continue to be a factor. Even if um, his um, attitude or his uh, behavior in managing the situation wasn't uh, fancy enough by the Edolite, but we still believe that it's still not enough for us to, you know, to continue in, uh, you know, in uh, reeling out the arsenals of wars and what have you. We must create, we must be able to create an environment that is peaceable for us to be able to sail on in the polity. But as you know, because politics is a game of uh, struggle for power, there will always be rancors, internal wrangling, it is something of maturity and is something that requires wisdom and discretion, which I believe that the PDP have not been able to achieve and attain that feat. And I think that is where maybe probably Young Progressive Party will differ, as it were. Okay, if Young Progressive Party is going to differ, are you going to welcome the uh, impeached governor? Because to our next the APC actually said uh, that their party is not rehab where you dump people yeah. that don't have relevance. You actually heard that from uh, the comrade himself. Like so, I, are you saying YPP is now open? Like I said, for it's the YPP fact like I said, oh. for the fact that uh, one there, because for the fact that there is such a misdemino or hatchiles as exhibited by the deputy governor, that has not made him uh, an individual that could be likened to a devilish you know personality. Of course it's still a fine Nigeria and a fine deputy governor, former deputy governor who have nip um, progress, who have done his best, and he has contributed immensely to this very state. Um, the only thing we look at for is that we try to look at the personality and the behavior that guides the personality. Okay. It's just that the two that came on board, okay. probably the temperament could be too melancholy coming together that makes the journey on smooth okay. for both of them to ride on. For the YPP, I think we have um, we have the instrumentalities, we have the structure, we have um, all the you know what it takes to manage um, whatever that has to do with conflicting. Of course, like I said, it's bound to happen because in a family of even two or three, mm. there is bound to be misunderstanding and misgiving. Okay. How you handle it as a as the head of the house, how you handle it as a parent body of that uh, of mm. that uh, very group matters a lot because this family, as you know, is what makes up the society. Mm. So if we are able to manage situations as a party, 
it will also be you know it will have a way of uh, of uh, going beyond okay. and creating an enabling environment okay. for us to sail on okay so you are saying that you don't manage the issue very well exactly and why ppc is a party for reconciliation we, <laughs> of, can just come and of course if you if you are a political okay. party okay. you do not have that provision okay it will, you are going to be having all the time there's going to be a situation whereby there's going to be a kind of a fallout and uh, a destruction okay. or, or, uh, or uh, whatever sir, sort how would this impact on uh, the former deputy governor of the state his political career now is at stake how would this impact on him as a person and his career uh as of today poli uh, the political career of uh, Comrade Philip Shaibo, former deputy governor of uh, those state, is at zero points. Zero points? Yeah. In my own opinion. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's at zero points. Okay. He has been stripped of the paraphernalia of office. He has become an ordinary citizen. Uh, all that is attached to him is former, 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 former. And in all the positions that uh, he has held, I'm of the opinion that he has not conducted himself very, very well. As a legislator, he was a two-time House of Assembly member. Uh, he brought in Togri into our legislative uh, chambers. In short, when they were going to remove uh, 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 impeach uh, uh, Honorable, late Honorable Zachary, if you remember him, that was the speaker then. They were all blooded. In short, himself was injured, I remember. You know, he, he, I, it was told that he was one of those that was, uh, you know, very thuggish, you know, in that battle. Not only that, when uh, he, he came in with uh, 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 he was the person that was reported to have went out to be adopting elected legislative members in their houses just to inaugurate about nine of them and left out 14 honorable members that were duly elected and that was the institution that he was supposed to have uh, represented you know he was once a member of that body however because of selfish ambition selfish interest personal ambition because he wanted to perpetrate himself in that uh, office of deputy governor he went ahead and then uh, ostracized some of these persons and some of these persons returned to the house and they became his abattoir not only that when he was deputy governor everybody knows he, no matter how he wants to deny it that comrade adam sosomole i'm not too much of a fan of adam sosomole though he has his own good part but uh, you can't take it from him that Comrade Adam Sosomole was the benefactor of uh, Comrade Philly Shaibo. In short, he made him to rise to where he is today. But uh, Comrade Philly Shaibo went on national TV and started saying that Comrade, uh, 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 Comrade Adam Sosomole should be taken for psychiatric uh, 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 evaluation. So how it will impact, you know, I, I think that's your question. Yeah. Okay. I to impart on uh, uh, on his uh, political career. Like I said, it has already impacted on him. He's an impeach. He has already gone uh, down in history as uh, the first uh, deputy yeah, governor. I've not said so. No, 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 no. You, you, you can always rise again. You can always rise again. Whether he's gone into extinction as of today is not what I okay. can okay. tell and predict. But yeah. there is the process, process, possibility and potential surprise. Shaibu and his lawyer, they walked out. And uh, since they did not come to defend themselves, the panel has every right to make uh, a recommendation to the, the State House of Assembly, mm -hmm. which they, uh, you know, I mean, followed duly. So, and uh, <clears throat> I think it was uh, a, a calculated error. If I had to be him, he could have stayed and stalled the sitting oh. so that uh, it will extend to that uh, three monks 
but uh, unfortunately, his lawyer probably advised him wrongly that they we are better off. Or they also anticipated the outcome anyway. Oh. So, and uh, they advised him wrongly that it is better not to participate. And whether you participate or not, this is what they are coming. But they ought to have stalled the sitting oh. so that we uh, take that whole three months. Uh, well, just like they said, that a man that God wants to kill, to first of all make him mad. And that's what happened to Felix uh, Shaibu. He was no longer thinking right. And they made him to dance naked in the marketplace. As he was doing it, he never took advice. Remember, some time ago, when Omonoba Eredewa, you know, not Eredewa, Ewai, uh -huh. cautioned him at the palace uh -huh. that you are the rascal among them, or you are the troublemaker among them. See, what a, a child will see. Climbing the Iroko. The elder will see it sitting. Okay. So at the end of the day, Felix Aibu met his water law. Oh. And he caused what brought him to this present situation. Okay. Comrade Collins Bakare, how can other political parties leverage on this now? Because there seems to be a crack, whether we like it or not, in the PDP. Although uh, he was trying to give us a comrade, they just gave an analysis of how. Uh, both the, the, the Labour Party and PDP will leverage on having a deputy governor as uh, governorship candidate from the Akoko Edo Aziz. But uh, how are other political parties going to leverage on this to their advantage? Um, well, I think um, the personality of, of Comrade Philly Shaibu has already been sore. And uh, for, for me, if I try to ruminate around how we are going, how, you know, the situation can be probably remedied. Um, for me, I think there is nothing anyone can do about it. But I believe no man is God. And he can always uh, bounce back. But to say that any political party should be happy or joyous or have Felicia Aibu in their party, I think uh, the chances is very slim, but I know there are going to be, um, you know, steps that will be taken by him and his uh, protege to make sure he gets a political party where he can bounce back and play his uh, political career smartly. Um, but for me, I think uh, the chances are very slim. That's just the obvious truth because of uh, what has happened so far. Uh, however, uh, it doesn't matter how it is. Only God can orchestrate and determine what happened to a man. And nobody can sit here and conclude on any man. Anything can happen because we do know that the sky is big enough for all birds to fly without clashing. Okay, now let's quickly come back to you. I've got me to start uh, pushing this to a logical conclusion. Now, he actually didn't really hit what I wanted him to say. He was actually shying away from it. <laughs> now, will another political party leverage on this? Uh, well, uh, this uh, uh, politics is a game of number. Oh. Like it or not, uh, Philly Shaibo is still a voter in those states. Okay. Like it or not, Philly Shaibo still has a wife oh. that can also vote. Oh. Like it or not, Philly Shaibo may still be able to talk to one or two persons to convince them to give their vote to an individual or a political party. Oh. To that extent, I believe that some political parties want to leverage on uh, the removal of Philly Shaibo by wooing him oh. to their side so that they can get his one vote and that of his wife and maybe one or two persons that uh, he, he, he will be able to... He's a grassroots politician. Uh, to, to if you say one or two persons, you are trying to limit his uh, capacity. Yeah, like, like I said, as of today, oh. I cannot vouch for the capacity of Comrade Philly Shaibo. That's the truth of the matter. Oh. Uh, 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 being a, uh, an impeached deputy governor is a not dent on your image, for oh. example. Let me tell you, for you to have been removed, it shows that you have run foul of the Constitution. Because 
uh, 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 the, the article for impeachment spells it uh, spells out uh, the ground where uh, on which you can be removed, oh. and that is the violation of the constitution or gross misconduct. Now, one of the things that he was accused of is perjury. Oh. You know that is lying under oath. That is a serious offense. Oh. Not only that, they, they gave examples. Now, uh, 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 the other article of impeachment on which uh, they brought against him. Uh, 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 was that he revealed, he revealed secrets. official secrets oh. going against his oath of office. You know, that, that, that shows that if that is true, oh. and by the panel they're proving it to be true because he has not defended himself. Oh. I mean, uh, 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 that is a then. That shows okay. that he cannot be Mr. Wadia, could it be that the office of the deputy governor is not really relevant with all these issues playing out? <laughs> because if anybody can just drag a deputy governor, keep them out of office. Just like that. We have governors who have lied on that oath. We have governors who have actually mm. said things that are not real. And nobody's mm. going after them. The House of Assembly don't do anything about it. But when it comes to the deputy governor's case, uh, they just try to make them feel irrelevant. Somebody granted an interview recently, and he said, and I quote, that the office of the deputy governor is just a little bit higher than that of a commissioner. Mm. You can imagine. But this is a joint ticket. They're both mm. contested together. And we were elected into office. They were sworn into office. Took oath of office together. So sh uh, could it be that in our Nigerian politics, the office of the deputy governor, uh, maybe they should just have just the governor <coughs> run for his office, they pick anybody <coughs> to be his deputy. Uh, well, uh, the office of the deputy governor is relevant, you know, constitutionally. And the provision that they have there, when you look at the provision of the president and the governor, oh. And there is a clause in the absence of the governor, mm. then the uh, deputy governor will act. Okay. And uh, that alone, the functions of the governor, mm. the deputy governor will also uh, perform. Okay. And for the past seven plus years, mm. uh, Shaibo has been, he became, for the, in the history of Edo State, uh, the governor, uh, Obaseki, allowed. Mm. Philip Shaibu to become acting governor. Oh. Acting governor. So, so invariably, it is more than that. The, I do not subscribe or agree with the young man or the person that said it is a little bit higher than oh. the commissioner. The, the commissioner, commissioner is office. just an appointment. Oh. Uh, so the deputy, gov the deputy com uh, governor participates in an election. Oh. He will be voted for and he can act in any capacity okay. as long okay. as the governor oh. allows him to. But it's just that oh. the Nigerian factor, oh. the governor is the sole captain. Oh. And since the governor is the sole captain, the governor can do and undo. At any given time, he might want to use his, uh, his spare tire. I remember when I was in the council, as the secretary to the local government. Oh. The chairman was absent and wanted to have the council meeting. The uh, hogger said, I, I will preside while the, the vice chairman, the vice chairman was sitting. Oh. I said, why? He said, no, that's the law. That the vice chairman, I will preside over that meeting. And as a vice chairman. And the vice chairman was sitting. I looked at the young vice chairman. <laughs> I said, okay, don't worry. I want you to preside. Okay. You understand? Yeah. So, but the law in Nigeria, it has been turned upside okay. down. We, we, and that is why we have all these anomalies. Okay, let, let's quickly get to Collins because we don't have time again. I'm so sorry. Uh, Comrade Collins, quickly, you help us make sense out of this. The deputy impeached former deputy governor, right on the Philip Schreiber, was impeached. The same day, we had an inauguration of a new deputy governor in person of uh, Mr. Marvelous uh, Omobayo Godwins. Some persons are of the opinion that they didn't really follow due process. He just brought somebody and inaugurated him that day, and he took out of office in presence of leaders and, of course, uh, cabinet members and all that. Some people felt he would have gone through the House of Assembly and all that so that there would be due process. Do you think the state government didn't go through any due process? Well, 
when it comes to that, I believe uh, there was no actual due process. But again, as you know, there is no lacuna when it comes to um, matters of politics and when it comes to administrative uh, um, situation as it were. Um, however it is, I think it would have been um, quite better for the name of, uh, I think there, were, there have been some uh, talks here, here and there that uh, so so and so person we emerged as the deputy governor and all that. There was no no provision or no um, um, space for at least for people to for names to be submitted to the House of Assembly oh. for there to be a kind of an actual engagement to be able to prove um, capacity and uh, prove uh, to be able to also prove oh. uh, who the person the cap will fit better. Okay. Yeah. I think uh, that was not given. It therefore means that a choice has already been made. There have been certain arrangements that was put on ground. Thank you, Mr. Collins. Thank you. Mr. <laughs> Thank you. I, I know you have. Yeah. So that, that will be, that will be, that will be uh, another time, all right? Because we need to go to Abuja. Thank you so much, Collins. Thank you, Mr. Wada, Engineer. Thank you so much for uh, joining us.